this tutorial I'm going to be refashioning this sweater, or as we call it in England, a jumper. And I'm going to use the age of a dress to make it really contemporary and gorgeous. And this is the dress. So let's get started. The first step is to remove these raglan sleeves. I'm just going to create a regular armhole. So the pins are indicating the stitch line of where the other sleeve is going to go. So I'm giving myself a seam allowance and I'm cutting just outside the pins, creating a curved shape. I'm doing this freehand, but you can also put a pattern on top of your sweater in order to create, get a more curved shape. Now I'm going to fold it in half cut the other side. The main body is now ready for me to add to it, so I'll put that to one side and I'll bring in the drip. Oh, it's a top really. Oh, it could be a dress. <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to do with this, the first step is going to be to remove this gorgeous two tiers and this border. So I'm going to turn this to the wrong side, see what's happening. Oh yes, that's nice. So I'm going to get my scissors. I'm going to make sure that I don't cut the top of this gorgeous trim here and just gently cut into the top. Hello, I'm Colleen Julie, here to inspire, motivate and share ideas to refashion clothing that already exists. I'm all about making sure that we use clothes that do not go into landfill to create gorgeous, amazing contemporary fashion. I have pins here and they represent the placement for where I'm going to be putting this lower section, these two tiers. It's going to come across like so. So I'm just going to slide that into the bottom of it. Make sure it's all nice and straight. And then once I've done that, I'm going to pin all the way around and base and hand sew it into position. The bodice is going to become part of the sleeve. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of cut freehand, but I'm giving myself a little bit of a guideline. So I'm putting these pins in to represent the head of the sleeve, like so. Okay, it's going to look a little bit weird, but when you see the finished garment you'll understand what I've done here. So what's happening here is this is going to represent the armor, the head of the sleeve, all the way around to the other side, which is going to be the back of the sleeve. This section is going to be the top part of the sleeve. I've cut the side seams. And as you can tell, it's going to be a contemporary top because both sleeves are going to be different. So I've got this, that's left over, this scrap here. And as you know, and those of you who watch my channel quite a lot, I like to make sure that I use every bit. So I'm going to try and create something here so it will enable me to put it onto this one here where the V is. So connect it something like that somehow. 
and there and there and then I will reshape that in order to create add a bit more to the top of the sleeve so I can gather it and also give it that contemporary style that I love. This sleeve is going to represent the lower part of the sleeve so I want a straight edge in which to work with so I'm just going to cut straight down to this point here I'm now going to close the seam of the sleeve so I'm putting the edge which was the side seams I'm overlapping rather than creating a plain seam or any other type of seam so I've got this image to sew onto and keep that structure within the sleeve pin it in place all the way down Now I'm going to join the sleeve. This is the lower section of the sleeve and this is the top part of the sleeve. So I'll put this one to the wrong side and this is the top part of the sleeve. Thread that through there, making sure that I'm matching up the seams. So right side, right side. And then I'm going to pin those into place all the way around. and then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and sew it into place. Before I insert the sleeves or apply the sleeves in this case, um, the armhole, which is this here, is too big. So I'm going to make it smaller by adding this section, which is the top of the sleeve. And what I'll do, I'll just cut that. And I am going to insert it at the lower part of the armhole like so the armhole is now smaller with this addition I put in now I'm going to cut away the excess which is on the inside which is not a lot so let's see I'll start from here. Then go to the other side. And then this seam will be neat and to be overlocked. Now as you can see, both sleeves are different. This one's got a gathered head, which is here. That's going to go on that side, obviously. <laughs> and the other one, I'm using the tape that actually goes around this binding here. And I'm going to sew it onto the top of the actual armhole rather than inserting it into the armhole. I'm actually going to use a hand stitching that like a very small back stitching and yeah I'll probably use a very small hand stitching for applying this as well because it's not going to be sewn all the way around. Now ready to attach the sleeves and they are going to require different methods of attachment. Um, like I said earlier I'm not inserting the sleeves so the sleeves are sitting on top of the armhole on both um, I'm going to show you I'm just going to start this one here which is a gathered sleeve They're both are going to require a little bit of hand sewing as well as machine sewing Doing a little dance. <laughs> um, I like it. I wouldn't say it's one of my favourite things that I will actually go to on a regular basis, but I do like it. The sleeves, I mean, oh.
Look at those sleeves. Each one of them are different. And they were challenging as well. I had to machine and hand sew them into place. I love this. I love the sleeves. They're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the detail here. It's this that's, um, yeah, that I'm not really digging that much. But I found a solution to that. And that is because I like the fact that the sweater, the jumper is, you can see it through this. But if I do a half tuck, one minute, oh, I'm loving it even more. Yes, result. If you enjoy this video at all, then please do subscribe, like the video, and definitely do share. I'm all about sustainable fashion, and it's all about refashioning existing clothing that already exists, that's already out there, and this is what we can do. We can actually transform them into amazing wearable garments. If you want to make any comments, please put those in the comment box below. If you have any suggestions for tutorials, put those in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.